Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. It has been a very busy day, a very newsworthy day for Liverpool Football Club with contract signings, incomings, outgoings, yeah, assistant managers not coming back, um, you know, ticket sales being announced, all sorts going on at Liverpool. So let's get straight into it. Let's start with the most positive news of the day and the most positive news that anyone could have hoped for when they woke up this morning. Uh, and that is that Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian king, has signed a new five-year deal at Liverpool. He has committed his future to the club with a £200,000 a week contract without a release clause. That's right, Emery Chan. We do deals without release clauses. That is how we do things at Liverpool. Mohamed Salah has absolutely no qualms with that. He has put pen to paper on this new mega deal, making him, according to Dominic King of the Mail, the highest paid player in Liverpool's history, and rightly so. We've got to be committing these sort of players. Uh, you know, wearing the most Salah t-shirt today to celebrate. It's a great, great day. Uh, some quotes from Klopp. When someone like Mo Salah commits and says, this place is my home now, it speaks very loudly, I think. I agree, Jurgen. Equally, our commitment to him says we see his value and want him to grow even more and get even better within our environment. Absolutely right. This guy is going to go from strength to strength. Will he have the exact same season that he did last year? Will he be able to match that massive goal tally? Perhaps not, but he doesn't even need to. If he can play even half as well, then we've got the chance of, um, you know, silverware and, you know, who, who knows what else. So Mohamed Salah, as you will know by now, has committed his future to the Reds. This is, you know, the base we need to build upon. Firmino signed his new deal a few months ago. Salah now, let's get Manny locked in as well, and then we're absolutely set to go as far as an attacking unit is concerned. Um, the players obviously reported for pre-season training today with Naby Keita and Fabinho joining up with the squad. Um, so we are absolutely firing on all cylinders when it comes to that kind of front six um, that is absolutely going to fire us to glory, we hope. Uh, anyway, you all knew that anyway. Let's move on to the transfer rumours. <laughs> so the first one, as you would have seen by the title and thumbnail, uh, Julian Brandt. Now, disclaimer, the Daily Star is uh, the, the people that have conjured up this, this article. Um, Bundesliga star could replace Nabil Fakir as main target. But they're just basically speculating, okay? Um, Daily Star are very clever. I'm sure there have been some very clever News Now titles around German international star, you know, could be set for Liverpool move. Uh, they're literally just putting two, two, two and two together and saying that now that the Fakir deal, as I said yesterday, appears to be breaking down, we haven't gone back in for negotiations. Um, everyone's seeing that as, oh, they must be looking at uh, alternative targets. Now, the one that they've linked us with is Julian Brandt, who we have of course been linked with before. Um, he's 22 years of age, he's out of the World Cup with Germany. Um, he plays with Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Uh, he's a regular starter for them, obviously. Uh, he's a quality player, he can play anywhere across the front, which is of course why Jürgen likes him so much. Nine goals and three assists in the league last season, the season before that. Three goals and eight assists, the season before that. Nine goals, three assists. Consistent, getting numbers. Um, and he's only very, very young, he's quick, um, he presses high, he's exactly the sort of player club wants. So maybe we will go back in for him. People seem to think he's destined for Bayern Munich eventually, um, but yeah, the Daily Star are literally saying Liverpool could do worse than going back in for him, so absolutely fair enough. Um, there you go, what do you think about Julian Brandt? Would he be the sort of guy you'd want to see as a backup uh, for the current winners or attackers we've got on the side? Maybe he could play at number 10? Um, let me know your thoughts on him. Uh, another link in another important position is the goalkeeper. Now, um, loads of you often comment this guy's name, loads of you often suggest him, he's only young as well and getting better. Correa della Sport in Italy suggesting that Liverpool are going to go in for uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma of AC Milan. They're saying that Klopp is giving up on Alisson because of the uh, the links with Madrid and the fact that the asking price is too high. And we're going to go in for the Italian who Rome at Milan uh, apparently could deal at around £50 million for, which is obviously significantly lower than the uh, Allison fee. Um, but there are suggestions that their asking price could change, um, you know, FFP becoming a, uh, becoming a factor here. So, Donnarumma, what do you think? Obviously, a young, a young keeper, international pedigree, 
um, has been on the big stage for a long time. So yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts on him. That is the latest player we've been linked with. It feels a bit far-fetched to me. I don't know why. Um, I just cannot see him joining Liverpool, but let me know if you think that's a possibility. Next, we have another one. It's Domagoj Vida. Um, you'd have seen him, the, the ponytail defender from Croatia. Uh, he plays for Besiktas, and apparently, according to Turkish football, um, we have joined Everton in the race to sign him. Uh, obviously, he's been partnering uh, Dayan Lovren in the World Cup so far. They've got as far as the quarterfinals. They're facing Russia in the in the last eight. So, you know, it could be a semi-final appearance for them. So a good run for the Croats. Maybe many of those dark horses to go and win it. Um, especially with the side of the draw opening up the way it has. Um, he's played pretty well. I don't think he's been incredible. Um, but he's been solid. And apparently the, 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 the kind of bids that are being made... Um, are around 15 million euros, but Pashik that's one closer to 20 million. So it's not a huge fee for a guy who's got um, you know international caliber, and he you know he obviously knows Lovren well, so they could play together. Um, and yeah, maybe Liverpool will will look at him as someone to bolster their defensive line. I think we're okay for centre backs, so you know I'd be very surprised if we bought one, especially a 29 year old. But that is what Turkish football are claiming. Next, we have made a signing. It's Isaac Christie Davis, another free agent uh, from Chelsea. Uh, obviously, we saw Solanke join last summer. This time, uh, we've got another one, 20 years of age, midfielder. Um, I'll be honest, I've never heard of him. Um, but apparently, he's a good, energetic midfielder. Uh, arrives late into the box. Um, I would imagine he'll he'll you know be playing in the under twenty threes this season, maybe one or two games in the domestic cups. I don't know, but we signed the player again. It looks like we're doing well attracting these young players from other English clubs to join us. They're obviously being promised opportunities. Christy Davis at the age of twenty, you know, time is kind of running out as far as bursting onto the scene <coughs> of a Premier League club. Excuse me, uh, is concerned. So maybe we'll we'll see him uh, this season. But yeah, Isaac Christy J Davis joins the Reds. Uh, from Chelsea. On to outgoings, Adam Bogdan, yes, the guy that has somehow been here for three years uh, is set to sign for Hibernian on loan according to the Mirror. Um, Bogdan is going into his last year of his contract, obviously never going to get anywhere near the Liverpool side and yeah, he's he looks like he's on his way to Hibernian. Um, so make of that what you will. Another player that's been linked with a move to Scotland is Danny Ings. Um, we're getting links, we're getting uh, different stories regarding him every single day, where, where he could end up. It could be Turkey, a Premier League club, back to Burnley, and now obviously Scotland being linked. The Scotsman saying that Rangers manager Steven Gerrard is interested in bringing him in. He's obviously already signed Flanagan and Ovia Jaria from Liverpool. Um, Dan Ings could become his third signing from his former club, Gerrard. So watch this space on that one. I think it would be a, a while before we, we learn Dan Ings' fate. Yeah, Liverpool still want to keep him around, but they're not going to stand in his way if he wants to leave, which he does to play first team football, which is completely understandable. Just hasn't worked out for him, unfortunately. Injuries applied to him, and then we've just kind of outgrown players like Dan Ings, to be honest, since Brendan Rodgers left. Uh, a bit of a concerning, well, not concerning, but it was concerning at the time, and I guess it is still a concern. Zelko Buvac has not come back to training. Obviously, the Reds, as I said earlier on in the video, came back to training today with all the new signings and all the players not involved in the World Cup, with the exception of Van Adam and Van Dijk were there. Buvac wasn't. Personal reasons still being cited as the issue that he's not there. So he's obviously had a falling on all Klopp. And, yeah, the Daily Mail are saying that his time at Anfield appears to be over. Um despite some people thinking that he might have come back this summer. Um, remember, he, he suddenly left uh, before the game against Roma in the Champions League, and we've not seen him back at the club since. So there you go. Bruvac seemingly uh, no longer working alongside Jurgen Klopp. We'll see what happens there. And finally, on the transfer front again, uh, Liverpool are apparently scouting a young Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper called Gavin Bazunu, who again, I've obviously never heard of. It would be astonishing if I had heard of this this teenage sensation from the Irish League. Um, apparently John Atterberg went over to watch him um, during their game against Derry City. Uh, he's had a trial with Celtic before. Arsenal have been looking at him. Uh, Brighton Hove Albion are keen. Um, so it looks like a bit of a race to sign this youngster and Liverpool are among that race. So make it that what you will. Maybe it's time that we did um, build up a keeper from, from scratch. Um, a homegrown talent. 
So we'll see how that goes. Also, I've not got anything in front of me on this, but the details were announced today for the official member sale for the Premier League games. Lots of you always ask me about getting tickets, especially on Instagram. Um, you need to become a member of Liverpool and go onto the website. All the details will be there. The sale dates for all these games. If you're a member and you live in the UK, it's not hard at all to get tickets, honestly. Just get in these member sales, get yourself in there and yeah, you can easily pick up tickets to, to, to the lesser games. Once you go, go to a few lesser games, you build up your credits, you can start going to the more prestigious games. Once you start going to lots and lots and lots, once you've got 13 credits, um, which is the threshold for the first sale, um, so you get access to all the games, uh, then you're pretty much a season ticket holder because you've got access to all the games before anybody else. You're pretty much you're almost guaranteed to get tickets for all these games if you're in there straight away. Um, so do that, honestly. Um, that's all I can really say. The Auto Cup scheme was today for all members for the FA Cup and League Cup. So I grabbed myself um, Auto Cup scheme tickets uh, for the League Cup and FA Cup. Uh, the Champions League one sold out uh, during this season ticket. And the people that went to all the Champions League games last season, uh, they had a sale before. And that one is obviously sold out. So if you're a member, you can still probably get tickets in the all members sale if it goes down that far for the Champions League. But... Um, if you want to go to all the League Cup games, you literally just have to be a member now and there's still tickets in the cop. So you, I don't want to hear anyone saying that you can't get tickets to Liverpool if you're in the UK because buy a membership for like 27 quid or whatever it is uh, and then get yourself in the Auto Cup scheme for the League Cup. You can sit on the cop every game and as I say, you can go to the Premier League games as well because the sale is in the middle of July. It staggers down so those that are on 13 credits get the first dibs. Then it's four credits for the big games uh, for everybody else and it's down to all members. So, no excuses. Okay, there we go. World Cup, it would be sh just negligent if I didn't touch on the World Cup. It's been another brilliant day. Uh, Brazil beat Mexico by two goals to nil in not not the best uh, last 16 game we've seen this tournament, but Bobby Firmino got on the score sheet off the bench. Uh, Neymar is still rubbing people up the wrong way, which I find amusing. Uh, but yeah, Brazil through to the quarterfinals where they will face Belgium after they came from two goals down to beat Japan by three goals to two in a phenomenal last 16 game. I thought Japan played so well. It wasn't just a defensive effort like Russia against Spain. It was great attacking football. Scored two goals and deserved them. Great goals, especially the second one from Inui. What a little player he is. Um, Japan really unlucky, but naive to commit so many men forward at 2-2 for that corner. And then the counter-attack, which Chadley of all people scored the winner. Uh, and Belgium will face Brazil. So France, Uruguay, Belgium, Brazil... And Croatia versus Russia are three of the four quarterfinals. And tomorrow we'll find out whether England can advance past Colombia and obviously a Sweden, Switzerland as well. Very exciting. Probably the best World Cup I've ever seen. Loving every day. And yeah, bring on tomorrow. And bring on tomorrow's transfer rumours as well. And bring on any news that comes our way from Liverpool. All very exciting. Pre-season, as I always say, is around the corner as well. The preview, I'm actually going to have to make a match preview in a few days for Chester versus Liverpool, which I'm so excited to do. Talk about football matches again. Um, so, yeah, all great stuff. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook for more. I did an Instagram TV video this morning, uh, just after Mo Salah's uh, contract was announced. So make sure you're following me over there for any quicker updates on that sort of stuff. And subscribe here for these sort of videos and the vlogs to come for the rest of this season. It's all very exciting stuff. Up the Reds. I'll see you soon.